This has been a $200 million project that's been years in the making and one the country hopes will inspire the next generation to reach for the stars in what's been the first Arab mission to Mars. The whole probe, which left Earth in July 2020 after several delays, entered its most critical stage early evening on Tuesday local time. This is the spacecraft successfully completed its orbit insertion, a highly complex mission with a 50% chance of success. So what happens next? Well, the probe will circulate the second smallest planet in the solar system and send back critical data about its atmosphere. So we'll be getting understandings of the lower atmosphere and the upper atmosphere, and that requires spectra from infrared spectrometer that we have on board. We also have visible images of Mars, and at the same time, we also measure the hydrogen and oxygen halo of Mars using ultraviolet. So it's a mix of data and also images that scientists use in conjunction to get their scientific discoveries and observations. This mission is part of a much wider strategy around space exploration, which uh, also include an ambitious national effort to develop expertise in this area after having already sent the first Emirati astronaut to space back in 2019. The UAE, which has a population of roughly 10 million, is heavily reliant on expat workers and lacks the scientific and industrial base of the big spacefaring nations, something it hopes to change with this now successful mission to Mars. The government has launched a space center to oversee this project at a time when the UAE is investing heavily into building a knowledge-based economy. It also has plans for a more settlement in the next century.